Okay, we're going to make a spot label in Carlson survey. Basically what you're looking at is instead of a point entity with the layers turned off, uh, which is hard for some architectural firms and other uh, designers to work with, you're, you're creating a, a dumb label and a leader so that it's clean, it's not a weird AEC object, and uh, you know, I think it looks better too. Um, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna go and make sure your settings under drawing setup are at the scale you want the text to be at. For this particular project, it's 20 scale. So you just type in 20. And then hit OK. And then when you then you go up this thing to focus. Then you go up to surface spot elevations. A lot of different options here. You can do it by surface model, which is cool. You can adjust the elevation labels if you change the datum afterwards. Another powerful command. And then here's draw spot elevations. So I like label with leader. Ignore this since you're doing a label with leader. Place label along leader. There's an arrow size. Um, one leader segment. And then what you can do is you can, you know, have a double leader. If it's a top of curb, you can tell it half a foot. A lot of different stuff. You want all the integers. Some people truncate things because I guess they don't like um, more than three or four digits. Um, here you're going to do the precision. So for our particular routine, we're going to do out to a hundredth. We're going to change the layer name uh, to EXBOT. FS and then there's you could do a point range group but a bunch of different options but most of the time it's individual there's another routine for curves that'll do it all at once and then uh, you can even save this on your local computer so you don't ever have to change it again hit OK then what we'll do is we'll zoom in to this conch pad and it grabs the node you click on it it wants to know what the elevation is down here and see how it picked it you don't have to do anything but if you didn't if it didn't happen to pick the elevation then you could type it in so just hit enter now what it wants to do is it's here's the leader and the rule of thumb is you're basically going to have to do one first to know how far out to go so there I didn't go out very far right it I was zoomed in too much so let's try another one click it hit enter well now I know that I gotta zoom out and bring it out more and there you go now that's a good leader looks good um, I accidentally type in FL instead of FS so we can just fix that um, we can edit the text or we could simply uh, erase these two which I want to do anyway because it didn't come out right surface spot elevations draw spot elevation and we'll go here to the suffix and type in FS Hit OK. Which I gotta look at the computer screen, not the phone. Go here, click, enter. It's much harder with one hand than two. There's that label. You can right click on your mouse too. And then, of course, I was zoomed in too much, so the secret is to not be zoomed in. 
You want to zoom out so you can see, you can take it out as far as you need to go. That's basically how to spot label in Carlson Survey. Thank you for watching Grammatacy Land Surveying.